the COVID-19 pandemic and the epidemic of racism both present an incredible opportunity for public health. I'm Dr. Lisa Cooper. I'm a professor of medicine and a Bloomberg Distinguished Professor of Equity in Health and Healthcare at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. I'm also director of the Johns Hopkins Urban Health Institute and director of the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Equity. I think Johns Hopkins has been an incredible intellectual home for me because I've been able to benefit from collaborations with colleagues across all the diverse departments in the School of Public Health. And when you're working on a problem that is as complex as health equity, you really need to draw upon all those diverse disciplines. We have known about health disparities for a very long time. The research has documented that African-Americans lived shorter lives by about three and a half years than white Americans. The infant mortality rates are two to three times higher among African-Americans and American Indians than they are among whites. And in fact, there is a 20-year gap in life expectancy between neighborhoods in Baltimore City that are just within five miles of one another. The COVID-19 pandemic has really hit communities of color and low-income communities very hard. African Americans have been impacted by COVID at about two and a half times the rate of whites, five to seven-fold higher in many states. In some states, Latinos have been particularly hard hit. And then American Indians have been very, very hard hit in New Mexico and Arizona. I think the current COVID-19 pandemic helps to once again expose the inequities in American society. There have been centuries of a system that's really created inequities and opportunities for people of color in this country. Police brutality is one of many forms of racism that we have seen that contributes to poor health in our African-American and other communities of color. Just witnessing these acts of violence perpetrated against African-American men and women can have a terrible effect on the health of an entire African-American community. I matter! We matter! Dean Ellen McKenzie and I recently wrote an open letter to the school in which we emphasize the important role that all sectors of society have to play in addressing racism. But public health as a discipline, and our school in particular, has a leadership role to play in setting the tone. How do we go about addressing all the myriad factors that contribute to poor health that are actually the result of racism? So we're not just talking about doing something that sounds like the right thing. We're doing something that we actually know has the potential to save lives. <laughs>